thing yes. since August. Ali McCoy was left on the bench, leaving Mo Johnston to plough a lone furrow up front. Red Star were without Savicevic, their star striker, but they would rely heavily on the precocious talent of 21-year-old midfielder Prozisnetsky, who is likely to cost AC Milan £10 million if he joins the Italians in 1993, the earliest date he can leave Yugoslavia. The commentator in Belgrade is Jock Brown. So it's Rangers who will start the match in front of a huge crowd inside the Red Star Stadium and a very noisy crowd at that. You'll hear a lot of drum beating going on. There's the first challenge on Johnston. The tackle came from Naidoski. And the referee is going to have words with the Yugoslav player. In fact, a yellow card has been shown in the first minute of the match. And that's serious news for Rangers with Johnston on the ground. Well, it certainly was a hefty tackle straight into the back of the legs of Morris Johnston. And there's clearly some anxiety there. There's the culprit, Naidoski, who was a marker for Johnston. He looks to the heavens because with a yellow card this early in the match, he'll have to be very careful indeed. Here's the tackle, which did the damage. Johnston getting the ball first and the defender launching himself, going through the legs of Morris Johnston. There's Petrovic, the Red Star coach. You'll recall that Red Star made very heavy weather of grasshoppers of Zurich in the home leg, drawing one each here, but then producing a magnificent performance in the away leg to win by four goals to one. So a team of undoubted pedigree for Rangers to contend with. Here's Nidorski. Pozanecki forced to go deeper and deeper, though, to become involved in the play. Stozic, showing a good turn of pace going forward. Pozanecki's got forward also. Over at the far side is Maravich. Pozanecki again, almost allowing Spackman to make the tackle. Radinovic was offside, surely is Radinovic with a great chance. It's turned in by Brown. And Red Star takes the lead. It's the eighth minute of the match. Radinovic takes the acclaim of his teammates and the Yugoslav supporters. But the question remains, was he offside when he received that pass? Well, he certainly appeared to be in an offside position when the pass came through. Let's check it again. Bozanecki, the playmaker, dragging the ball away there from Spackman, playing it inside Halstra. And Radinovic certainly appeared to be in an offside position pulling the ball back, and John Brown is the unlucky Rangers defender. So the ball coming through again, and Radinovic waved on by the French linesman, although from this angle, which is a good one from the position to judge offside, he looked to be just offside when the pass was released. Radinovic taking the credit for the goal, but it certainly came off John Brown. Well, a disastrous start that for Rangers. And you can hear from all the noise around the stadium how well that has been received by the Yugoslav supporters. Takes all the pressure off their favourites. And Rangers really have an uphill struggle now. Certainly Radinovic deserves great credit for the positive running he offered on the right flank. Austria didn't get back to match him. The long ball in for Panchev. That's a fine header down over Binic. And the clearance came from Stevens. Up goes Johnston. Quick recovery. And he has Halstra available. The early ball is played in for Walters. Here's a chance for Rangers. Mark Walters trying to go all the way himself. And that was undoubtedly an opportunity for Rangers. And a moment of some encouragement for them. The way they found gaps in the Red Star defence. Played forward by Spackman. Halstra trying to hold off his marker, who was Belodic. So Red Star coming clear from defence. Here's Prozanecki again, who played that fine pass inside Halstra for the opening goal. Another chance for Pinic. He's in behind Monroe. And great goalkeeping there by Chris Woods. It'll be a goal kick, but... The Rangers' defence exposed once again on the left flank. Here's Binic in behind Stuart Monroe. No question of offside that time. 
and Woods did well coming out. Here's Belodrich. Belodrichki once again finding space. Having to go deep though. Sabanadzevic. Here's Panchev. Look how quick he is coming forward. Prozanecki thinking about the long range shot. And that wasn't far away from Prozanecki. Chris Woods complaining that he was given much too much space to set himself for that shot. But Prozanecki looked up, saw the gap at the far post to aim for that. And Woods, I think, had it covered. Make no mistake about it, we're watching a quality European side in Red Star Belgrade this afternoon. And Rangers have their work cut out. But they too are packed full of players of genuine quality, like Trevor Steven, now in possession. With Halstrap, away from Radinovic this time, and from Stozic. That's for Johnston, he was offside. The referee waves down the flag on the far side because Stojanovic has possession. Familiar pattern again from Red Star. Prozanecki starting the move. Over on the far side, Maravich. Adventurous fullback, an international player. This is Prozanecki again. Jugovic. Stozic. Well, that's good play by Stozic again. Yes, Panchev. Good positioning by... Chris Woods, but Rangers were carved wide open there, and that was certainly alarming. The way this move was set up by Stozic for Panchev. Time to have the shot at target, but Woods was on the six-shot line to cut down the angle. Stozic to Panchev, and Woods did well, gathering the ball at the second attempt. Monroe trying to find Haustra. Here's a danger again for Rangers. Radinovic going straight through the middle. And a superb effort there by Rodinovic on the run. He is certainly warming to the task. The Red Star fullback who created the opening goal. Look at the way he comes inside here, making a diagonal run, setting up a shooting chance of what should be his weaker foot. But look at that for a left foot effort. Chris Woods relieved to see it go wide. So Rodinovic, the young defender, having an outstanding match so far. Tying up Peter Haustra in the early stages, then finding time to come charging forward into attack. Here's Radinovic again. Well, not one of the better known Red Star players, the right back, Radinovic, but he'll be much better known after this match. Here he is again in possession. Stozic. Prozanecki. Stozic again taking the pass from Sanadzevic. Stozic showing his strength again. Well tackled by Monroe. Here's Haustra. Walters going forward. Austro will play the safer ball, though, I think, to Stevens. Ferguson to Haustra. Here's Spackman popping up on the left for Rangers. Haustra's back on the left flank. Well, this is where Rangers expect to see him do some damage. A good outswinging cross. Dianovic totally at sea for that. Well, that should give Rangers some encouragement the way the International goalkeeper completely misjudged that cross from Haustra. Panchev turning well. Look how quick he is coming forward. Stepping away from Ferguson. Crowded out in the end. Spackman and Goff combining, but at the expense of a free kick. There's Darko Panchev. 25-year-old striker. Scored 33 goals last season for Red Star. Got a couple also in the World Cup in Italy. And a menacing striker. So the free kick. Almost 30 yards out. Ozanecki takes it. It's deflected. And that'll be a corner kick to Red Star. 
Wolzanecki taking control of everything in the middle of the field for Red Star with tremendous assistance from Sozic and Jugovic and Sabiradzovic. Wolzanecki with the corner kick. And a free header there inside the penalty area for Panchev. And a shooting chance for Jugovic. Well, that's another problem for the Rangers defence. There will be something of an inquest. There is one going on, in fact, down below us about the fact that Panchev got so much space. There's Walter Smith discussing that with Graham Sunis. But Panchev could so easily have made it two for Red Star with that clear opportunity in the air. Tackle made by Spackman. Here's Johnston. He's on his own for the moment. Brought down by Belodic, and the free kick's been given. Well, Johnston's had some tough treatment in the match. And the free kick will now be taken, I think, by Trevor Stephen, or perhaps Mark Walters, who's coming across. So the big men have gone forward again for Rangers. Goff and Brown are up. There's Trevor Stephen looking for Johnston. It's back with Spackman. But start charging out here the chance now in the break. Here's Beanich breaking on the right, using his pace to get away from Monroe. Kozanecki couldn't reach it. The ball still in play. Here's Maravich. In comes across. John Brown won it bravely for Rangers. And Walters does well to win possession again. Playing it up towards Johnston. And the marker again was Nidorski. Well, Rangers living dangerously once again. The electric pace there on the right from Beanich. who set it all up. Headed away there by Brown in the end. But Prozadecki had the better chance a moment or two before that when he couldn't get on the end of the cross from Beanich. Here's Monroe. Trying to link up there with Haustra and Johnston. It's back with Spackman. Here's Haustra in space. This is promising for Rangers. A very disappointing cross, though. Najdoshki plays it out. Oh, that's delightful play there over on the far side. Stevens having to be very quick getting back. Here's Prozanecki. Jukovic again. And Stevens is just enough to put him off as he tries to send over the cross. Well, Jukovic, another 21-year-old in the Red Star midfield, showing magnificent control and pace on that left flank. The well, Rangers at the moment just don't know where the danger will come from next. Here's Marovic. The waiting in the middle. Beanich peels off. And that's a tremendous save from Woods. Well, a huge debt out there by Rangers to Chris Woods. It was Marovic who drove inside. Look at the way Beanich peeled off John Brown. The first time left foot shot and a reflex save from Woods. Rangers at the moment going through something of a mauling. Now that's a fine catch by Woods. Well, the English international could be a vital figure if Rangers are to progress in the European Cup any further than this stage. There's Boris Johnston off in one of those long runs again, trying to set up Mark Walters. Mark Walters, a long, deep cross. Here's Spackman! And that was the best chance of the first half for Rangers. Nigel Spackman so disappointed there. Set up there by Johnston for Mark Walters. Now look how well he goes to the byline and pulls in this cross. Haustra and Ferguson dragging the defence away and Spackman couldn't get that on target. Well, that again will give Rangers some encouragement, that flying header from Spackman. This may be the last chance for Red Star in the first half. Prozanecki faced by Johnston, who's been forced to drop back and join his teammates in defence. Here's Haustra. Good slight of foot there to get away from Beanich. The pass inside, though, gives possession back to Red Star. Here's Prozanecki. Good tackle by Monroe. And it was Chris Woods again who was in the right place. 
Well, it's another moment of genuine anxiety there for the Rangers' defence. The half-time whistle is gone. Savan Adzovic had gone through there, making that effort and goal. Chris Woods made the save, and Rangers going off. Suddenly relieved, I reckon, only to be one goal behind after facing the might of the Red Star Belgrade midfield and the sharpness of Panchev and Benic in attack. But it was Radinovic who set up the goal with that surging run, beating the offside trap going forward. Here it is again, Brozanecki holding off Ian Ferguson, playing that beyond Peter Hauser for Radinovic, who looked to me offside, but the flag stayed down. And when he drove the ball across, John Brown could do nothing other than play the ball into the net behind Chris Wood. So at half-time in the Red Star Stadium, it is Red Star 1, Rangers 0. We were certainly treated in that first half to an outstanding display of top quality football from Red Star Belgrade. And the Rangers management team of Graham Smith and Walter Smith will undoubtedly have been trying very hard to come up with a plan which can halt the progress of this superb Yugoslav side. Rangers contributed a little to their own problems in the first half though with some careless play when they had possession and they were guilty of a number of unforced errors. And at this level, these really cannot be afforded. There's Sabin Adzovic playing it back to Podonecki who was involved in so much of the creative action for Red Star in the first half. So too was Tozic. Here's Belodic. And these opening minutes of the second half will undoubtedly be crucial from the Rangers' point of view if they are to survive. Maravic plays it inside. Podonecki again has wandered across now to the left. Space over on the right again. And Chris Woods coming out to claim the ball for Rangers. Well, the Red Star supporters all be decked in red and white, but these are Rangers fans. They certainly haven't had a great deal to please them so far in the match, apart perhaps from the performance provided by this man, Chris Woods. There's Johnston back with Brown forced to turn back and he received that pass from Trevor Steven so Red Star will obviously be very conscious about the possibility of losing a goal at home so they won't be too reckless about getting forward I reckon at this level of competition a 1-0 home victory is deemed to be a good result there's Maravic Panchev trying to turn, and once again, it's Chris Woods to Rangers' rescue. Magnificent goalkeeping. Darko Panchev appreciates that all right. It was played in here by Maravich. Excellent control on the turn, the volley with the left foot, and Woods again, well positioned to make the save. So Prozanecki will take the corner kick. Headed away by Spackman. Here's Maravic. Well, Odinic is in the middle. Odinovic calling for the ball on the far side. There's a corner kick count. It doesn't quite reflect the balance of play, though. Four apiece suggests the game has been even. It certainly hasn't been that with Red Star in control for most of the time. Played in by Hausstrap. Johnston takes advantage of that lapse in control by Naidoshki. Played away by Maravich. Rangers have a throw. The opportunity again to build something. Well, these fans are not done hearted. it. Well, that's good play by Stozic running away from Ian Ferguson who tries to get back to make the tackle. And the free kick goes to Red Star. The Rangers protest waved aside by referee Yol Kinyu. Odonecki takes over again. So there was the tackle made by Ian Ferguson. Well, really, he has no complaint about the decision to give the free kick. Odonecki looking as though he may try to bend one towards the far top corner. Or will he use one of his teammates short inside? Five in the wall. Rangers recognizing the danger posed by Odonecki. 
He's found the net. Kodanetsky makes it 2 0. And the Rangers' wall is breached. Chris Woods couldn't get across. And that may well turn out to be a crucial goal in this tie. Well, joy in the Red Star Stadium here in Belgrade as a result of this free kick from the dead ball master for the next game. Woods clearly saw that very late indeed. He'll be very disappointed that that got past him. And the celebrations beginning as Prozineski goes to take the acclaim of the Red Star fans. Well, a very unsatisfactory goal, I reckon, from the Rangers' point of view defensively. They had a five-man wall lined up. And that wasn't enough with the help of Chris Woods behind. There will be, undoubtedly, some discussions about that after the match. But a goal which Rangers, I'm sure, will deem to be very unsatisfactory indeed. But Red Star will acclaim demonstrating once again the supreme talent of Robert Prozanecki. That goal coming 20 minutes into the second half. And it's been very well received indeed, as you can imagine, by the Yugoslav supporters. Well, the goal went in at the end of the goal, designed to be covered by the wall. Chris Woods did make a valiant effort, but couldn't get to it. And Rangers' hopes may well rest now on the possibility of snatching an away goal before the end. Petrovic, the Red Star coach, will be thoroughly content, I reckon, about this state of affairs. Stozic plays it back. Rodinovic inside. Ravinadzovic across to Podrecki. This is Sabinadzovic, who was sent off in the World Cup against Argentina. Prozanecki turning into Walters. They didn't realize where Walters was. Now, this is a chance for Rangers. Maravich coming across to challenge Walters. Well, Walters went down, and it was Naidoshki who came across to help Maravich. And the free kick is given by Kinyu, the referee, and I reckon Rangers were most fortunate to receive that. There's Walters. Well, the ball was out of range when he threw himself to the ground. Realized it was going for a throw to Red Star. Played across brilliantly there and almost turned in at the far post. Morris Johnston it was who came across. Well, that could have changed everything for Rangers. There's Johnston, the head flick across the face of the goal. Houstra didn't get on the end of it properly. There's Walters now with a long angled cross again. John Brown trying to keep the shot down. And now it's red start of the break. This is where they could be so menacing. Here's Panchev on his own for the moment. Looking for support. Benic is over on the far side. Red start turning defense into attack. There's a chance. Panchev makes it 3-0 to Red Star. Dejection for Chris Woods, and it's a sucker punch for Rangers. Panchev cashing in here. Now, as the ball was played forward, Panchev turned away from Gary Stevens. It's the marking of the Rangers' defence to look for here after Panchev releases the ball to the right towards Binic. Just look at the way the Rangers' defence ball watches. Panchev is left totally unmolested, goes right across Richard Goff and drills the ball beyond Chris Woods. Richard Goff will be very unhappy indeed about the way Panchev left him for dead. 3-0 to Red Star. 17 minutes of the match left and Darko Panchev gets the goal which he's been threatening throughout the match. Panchev indeed was shown the yellow card for the celebrations which were not too long behind the Rangers goal. 
Well, it looks now as though Rangers may well be on the way out of the European Cup. The Red Star fans clearly believe that. Here's Nigel Spackman. Coyce couldn't control that. Picked up now by Panchev. So we lose Evan Quick. And just caught there by Gary Stevens to turn the ball away for the throw. Panchev really enjoyed that third goal, enjoyed it so much that he was booked for his celebrations. Let in by Jugovic, he's a chance again for Red Star. Bidic drives the ball over. There was no offside flag there, and that could so easily have been goal number four. And once again, the Rangers defence appears to be breached much too easily. There was no offside there. When the ball was played, Pinic was at least in line. When Rowe protesting, and Woods was relieved to see that go over the bar. It's Panchev finding space. Now attacking John Brown. Panchev still trying to go himself. And it comes off the post. Chris Woods appeared to be unsighted for a second there. And Rangers living dangerously once again in the closing minute of the match. The Lodrich with a long-range effort, and Woods relieved to see it go wide. Woods suddenly looking shell-shocked there. As Panchev struck the post. Rangers defence couldn't cope with him here. Turn for that first-time shot. Woods definitely saw it late, and saw it come back off the post. So it's been a performance to savour from Red Star Belgrade. Referee Kinyu indicating a free kick to Rangers inside their own penalty area. And indeed there's no time for that to be taken. It's been a drubbing in the end for Rangers. And it's a tribute to the quality of Red Star Belgrade, who were in control throughout the match. They got the bonus of that early own goal from John Brown. But then in the second half, snatch goals. The first from a set piece scored by Prozanecki. It came in off the post, over the wall, and then Darko Panchev made it three in 73 minutes, and that may well be the goal which will put the tie beyond Rangers, who leave the stadium here without an away goal and with a mammoth task to face in Glasgow in two weeks' time. It'll be very tough indeed. Red Star Belgrade, a team full of quality. They're deserving winners. They've won this match. It's Red Star, Belgrade, three, Rangers nil.